Alright, today I want to look at improper versus mixed numeral fractions. So remember, there are two different ways to represent the same information. So an improper fraction is when the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom. And the way you remember it is it just kind of looks wrong. It doesn't really, it doesn't look right because the numerator is too big. So we're going to convert it into a mixed numeral fraction, which is where it tells you how many whole numbers you have and then you have a proper fraction on the side. So for example, if this were pizza, because I love pizza, um, if the pizzas are cut into slices of four, and I've eaten nine slices, I've eaten way more than one whole pizza. So I wanna find out how many whole pizzas I've eaten, and then how many, um, how many additional slices I've had. So what we're gonna do is we're going to divide this top number by the denominator. Okay, so how many fours go into nine? Two. But we have one remainder. So that one remainder becomes our numerator for the proper fraction. Okay, so when we're converting between improper and mixed numeral fractions, your denominator always stays the same. Okay, the only thing that's changing is instead of having this nine on the top, we're turning this into whole numbers out the front and the remainder goes on top of the new fraction. Okay, so denominators stay the same. So straight away, before I even do any solving, dividing anything down here, I know that the den uh, denominator of my next fraction is, is still going to be five. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to write. So keep that in mind, your denominator stays the same. All right, so here I've got um, 13 over five. So if it were pizzas again, or if it was chocolate bars, whatever, um, they were cut into fives, and I ate 13 of them. Okay, so I'm going to divide. How many fives go into 13? Two, because two fives are 10. So that means I've got three left over. So that three becomes the numerator of my proper fraction that's next to it. So 13 over 5 is the same as 2 whole plus 3 over 5. All right, here we've got 36 over 10. So I'm going to divide, divide my numerator by the denominator. So how many 10s go into 36? 3. And how many left over? Remember, my denominator stays the same. So 10 threes are 30, so there'd be 6 left over. So this is equivalent to three holes and six over 10. All right, let's have a look at this one down here. So again, I'm gonna be dividing my top number by my bottom number. I know before I do anything that my denominator is gonna be two. So how many twos go into seven? Three. Because three twos are six. So that means I have one left over, so one becomes my new numerator. And that's all you have to do. So. The steps for converting from improper to mixed numeral is you just divide your top number by your uh, bottom number and the remainders become the numerator for your next fraction. Okay. okay, now what we want to do is we want to turn these mixed numeral fractions into improper fractions. So we want it to end up being just a plain fraction with a big number on the top. So here I've got 4 and 1 over 3. So I've got 4 whole pizzas, I guess. Um, so four whole pizzas plus another third. So I need to figure out how many slices were in those four whole pizzas. So first up, I'm going to multiply these two numbers together. So four times three gives me 12. So I'm just going to write that here. So there were 12 slices, so 12 over three slices in those four whole pizzas that I ate. And then I also ate another third. So I'm gonna be adding another third. So all up, how many slices did I eat? I ate 13 slices and they were cut into threes. So I ate 13 over three. So let me get rid of this here. So basically, in order to solve these, you're gonna multiply your whole number with your denominator and then you're gonna add the number on the top, okay? So 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 gives me 13 
0.03. Okay, so just like with the mixed numeral ones, your denominator always stays the same. Your denominator doesn't change. So even before I start doing any maths here, I know that my denominator is going to be 2. So I'm going to write that down. So just like with this one here, I'm going to be multiplying these two together. And then I'm going to add the number on the top. Because here, if I've eaten nine whole cakes, let's make these ones cakes, if I've eaten nine whole cakes plus another half, I need to figure out how many halves were in those nine cakes that I ate. So nine times two gives me 18. So there are 18 slices just here alone of the cake that I've eaten, plus I ate another one. So 18 plus one gives me 19. So 19 over two. All right, now let's do this one. Let me just move this over. All right, so here I've got 11 and four over six. So I know that my denominator is gonna stay the same. It's gonna be six. So I need to multiply 11 times six to find out how many slices were in the 11 that were eaten. So 11 times six is 66. And then I'm gonna add this four. So 66 plus four gives me 70. Great. And then for this one down here, I've got three whole and then two over 12. So I know my denominator is gonna be 12. I'm going to multiply the whole number with the denominator and then I'm going to add the number on the top. So 3 12s are 36 plus 2 is 38. And there we have it. In order to convert our mixed numeral fractions to improper fractions, what we do is we multiply the number out the front with the denominator and then add the numerator. But our denominator always stays the same. The denominator does not change. Okay. Thank you for watching.